Hello, I'm Jim Lapley. Since turning professional following the 2000 Olympics, Miguel Cotto has risen through the ranks to claim world title belts in three divisions while becoming one of the most popular draws in boxing. On June 7th, he'll attempt to become the first Puerto Rican fighter to win a title in a fourth weight class when he challenges middleweight kingpin Sergio Martinez on HBO Pay-Per-View. Let's take a look now at Miguel Cotto's greatest hits. There's a new superstar in Puerto Rico. That was just a perfectly thrown combination by Miguel Cotto. Now he gets caught flush with a right hand. Torres has Cotto in big trouble. Cotto is wobbly and the ropes hold him up for the moment. He gets ripped again and down goes Miguel Cotto. Cotto catching Torres on the end of a punch again and down goes Ricardo Torres. Miguel Cotto survives a life and death talent from Ricardo Torres. A low blow puts Judah on the canvas. Another low blow. Judah is in agony and would be well advised to take more time to recover this time. And he continues to crash away at Judah and gets the blood to flow from Judah's right eye again. Left, left. Right, left to the body. Continued assault from the Puerto Rican star. Parts of the crowd standing as Cotto continues the vicious assault. Judah goes to a knee. He doesn't want any more, or so it appears. And Arthur McKenna stops the fight. Knockout. Hard right hand across the top by Cotto. Big right hand by Mosley. Tremendous left hook by Cotto. Tremendous right hand by Shane Mosley. They are trading shot for shot now. It's a war of wills in round three. These are vicious exchanges. Some of the most vicious exchanges we've seen in years. Hard right hand by Cotto. Thudded onto the chin of Shane Mosley. Big left hand by Cotto. Cotto has energy. Back to fighting the way he fought earlier. What a vicious struggle. And a huge left hand by Cotto and he has clearly won the 11. And Miguel Cotto remains unbeaten. Whoa! Cotto lands the right hand and holds it up for the crowd to see. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in yeah. the early going. Now the left uppercut for Margarito, and he steps in in the corner and fires away. Now Margarito gets the space he wants, and eats an uppercut for his trouble, and smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Cotto is badly hurt. hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts. Cotto is in trouble along the ropes. Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by it's a my, bigger it's man. Over, it's over. He's exhausted, yeah, and it's it. almost over. The punishment has accumulated to the it's point over. where Cotto has nothing left, and Evangelista Cotto is going to throw in the towel. And Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. And down goes Clotty at the end of round one, and Cotto has a vital point. Good tackle by Cotto. Clotty came at him, went up onto Cotto's shoulder, and Miguel just put him down. And Clotty appears to be hurt. This is brilliant tactics by Miguel Cotto. This is ring generalship as he has trapped Clotty in the corner for nearly a full minute here. Suddenly, the Miguel Cotto of old has emerged against an immobilized Joshua Clotty. What a night in the garden. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Crowd comes out of its seat for that one. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. He starts to open up. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. Good body shot by Cotto. Drops Pacquiao in the foot. What a run. And he landed a little right hook in there. And follows up by knocking Cotto down. First knockdown of the fight. 
Now it's Goto whose back is against the rope, and he fights his way off and goes down again. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. What a nightmare for these 21,000 fans. Margarito beats Kodo down again, but what a dream come true if Kodo can get his revenge. Good combination by Kodo. Crowd is warming up. Margarito's right eye is already showing blood. Kodo's fighting as though he doesn't have the same fear of Margarito's punches in their first fight. Margarito grinning like a jack-o'-lantern as Kodo tries to do surgery on his face. Hard right hand by Margarito. His best shot of the night. Good left by Kodo. Three punch combination. Finished with a left hook in the area of the eye. Margarito still stalking, stalking, stalking. Kodo stands his ground and rips him with a left hook to the chin. Body shots and a left hook upstairs for Kodo. And another left hook. Oh, wow. It's over. It's over. And Miguel Cotto has the technical knockout victory, which for him is sweet revenge. This is the plan for Cotto, for sure. Try to land against him along the rope. Mayweather lands the right hand around Cotto's glove. He's beginning to sweep the right hand rather than throwing it over the top. They're trading shots. Mayweather's still getting the best of it, but there's blood trickling from his nose. Cotto's making a mark here and there. What a determined effort by Miguel Cotto. Big shots by Cotto. Mayweather landing back, but Cotto is the one who's putting hard leather on his man. Mayweather hasn't lost a round this clearly and solidly for some time. Nobody doubted that Miguel Cotto would try his best and give it everything he had. As the Mayweathers like to say, skills pay the bills, and his skills are still superior. Can Miguel Cotto still be the left hooking to the body monster that he was for most of his career? Great left hook to the body by Cotto, and another one for good measure. Beautiful. Okay, good pressure, working behind the jab, working the body shots. Beautiful. This is Bull Cotto. This is the Cotto that people love to see. Cotto punctuates the round with a couple more hard shots, and you see the effect on Rodriguez. But he's getting hammered, hammered by Cotto, and down he goes, and Frank Santori is stopping the fight. Miguel Cotto fighting like a man possessed, knocking Delvin Rodriguez out. <laughs> So you're there